as you shared, Bernie, you and I both ran presidential campaigns. We both laid out our own tax plans. And so you don't have to ask hypothetically, gosh, what tax plan might I support? Because you campaigned on one. And the tax camp plan that you campaigned on was a $13 trillion tax increase. You didn't cut taxes on small business when you had the chance. You jacked them up. You didn't cut taxes. You didn't increase the standard deduction. You didn't actually, because your view is tax everyone, tax them like crazy, tax them at levels we've never seen, and then the government can send you a check on the back end. So when you, my tax plan, the tax plan I campaigned on was a simple flat tax of 10% for individuals and families, a business flat tax of 16%, which would be the tax you would pay, sir, in your small business, and we abolish every other federal tax. And it benefited every American. It increased every American's after-tax income by at least 14% from the very poorest to the very wealthiest. That is what's happened Ted, when you get jobs and economic growth. I just wanted to be clear. Was this the same exact tax plan that in 2015, the Wall Street Journal headline said, quote, Ted Cruz's new tax plan deliver its, delivers its biggest benefits to the top 1% of U.S. households, adding about one-third to their after-tax income. Is that the plan we are talking about, Ted? And look, I don't remember, but the Journal had lots of editorials yeah. criticizing me. Of course so they did, because sure you're going to drive well, up the deficit. No, no, wait a second. I, it, th I, thought, I thought Republicans were the candidate of big business. Why was the Wall Street Journal criticizing me? Oh, the Wall Street Journal has some very good reports. Their editorial page is a little bit well, off the that's wall. But that's who you were quoting no. was their editorial page. No, no, no this was a headline. No, no, no. It's a headline, not from their editorial page.